Hello everyone! You remember when we said I could do the intro sometime? <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Now? I'm sorry, is it bad timing? Bad timing? I literally already started filming! Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, it's just... You know, you said I could do it at some point, and I, you know, I was really excited about it. Well, but not now. Please, I really want to film the video today. I swear, I've been preparing for this my whole life. Wait, wait, wait. Now you want to do the whole video? Do you even know what we're going to be filming today? Yes, we want to test beauty products from TikTok and hacks from TikTok. You know, I know what to do. I've been practicing for this. I swear, come on, let me do it, please. Let me do it, 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 let me do it. Fine. But if you do anything wrong, I'm gonna be coming back. I promise I'll do my best entertaining the broccoli. All right then, I'm gonna go get some pickles or something. Do you want some too? I could never say no to pickles, you know that. <laughs> All right, see you. Hello everyone! Welcome back to my outfit matching hair. <laughs> Okay, purr queen. It's like it's not even there. <laughs> Does it look like I have a bob? Did you just fart? Yes, today we will be testing some more TikTok beauty products and also hacks. I did one of these videos before just ordering viral beauty products from TikTok. The list constantly gets longer, products get invented, and you know, I just need to try it all out. It's my mission. I'm not even a beauty channel anymore, but that's my mission. I look really bad. <laughs> I actually don't know when was the last time I was on here without wearing makeup. That means we gotta put some makeup on. Let's get into the take of the talk. So I, I picked some stuff for us today and I'll try to test all of it in a smart border because I wanna do my makeup with all of these hacks today. So the first thing we're gonna be testing is the famous watermelon glow. Oh my God, what the fuck is this word? Niacinamide? Niacinamide? Ultimate glow and brightening. In German, ultimativa glow und strahlende Haut. <laughs> well, this is a highlighter serum and, well, TikTok has been going crazy about this. People have been glowing like the moon, the sun, and the whole solar system at once while putting this on. This apparently makes your skin super glowy and dewy and beautiful and just lickable. I don't think you should lick this, but it looks like you should. Oh, you can see that? Well, that's bad. Can you see this camera? Oh. <laughs> this is my close-up camera, so you see all my pores and everything you don't want to see. Because only then we'll know if the product is good. Oh my god, my pimples today? What the fuck? Who even has pimples there? Oh. Oh, why is my hair so voluminous today? Kind of gives me Karen vibes. Why does my hair look so Karen? No, actually it looks Susan. Let's put this to the test. This is what it looks like by the way. Oh, it only has instructions in German. Sorry guys. Well, I'll try to translate. Sorry, I forgot to translate. It literally just said, put it on your face. It also said you can put it underneath your makeup and it will make your makeup look really good. And we love that. But also, my makeup normally is quite matte because I do powder my face a lot. So I don't know if that would be kind of contradicting because I would just, you know, powder the glowiness of this product. But we'll still carry on. We're gonna treat this as a makeup base. I thought it would look more like a watermelon. Kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. Maybe this will cure my pimples. How many? One or two pumps, she said. We're gonna do three. <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. I mean, it smells very watermelony. If you don't like this artificial watermelon flavor, I think it will stay like this. I mean, it does look gorgeous, but I feel like this is not really for your daily life. I mean, you'll be the judge of that. I mean, maybe it's gonna look great on the beat. I mean, on my acne prone redness skin, it just looks like I'm very fucking oily. It does leave a film on your skin and it does leave your hands a bit sticky. Comment down below, do you like it when skin looks like this? I mean, obviously it looks very healthy, but also I feel like people will be like, 
Can't she just like, you know, powder her face? <laughs> because I also feel like every time I'm, I'm like at a shoot or like working with other people who are filming me, they always want to like powder my highlighter because it's too shiny. And yes, I, I get you need to be powdered on camera like more than in real life because on camera it will just look more intense. But like don't fucking powder my nose highlight. It needs to be there. I want this to be a white spot on my nose. I mean just like that, if you just see it right here, it looks very very pretty. But I don't know how I feel about it being everywhere on your face. It does leave your face very sticky too. I mean maybe that's like actually good for underneath your makeup because you, you kind of want a sticky base so your makeup can stick to it. I bet I'm gonna get a rash from this. I'm like allergic to so many things, mostly sunscreen, but also a lot of other creams. <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> well, guess we'll find out. Before we're gonna get to foundation, we're gonna get to eyebrows. And there's this one very stupid eyebrow trend. Can you even call this a trend? <laughs> I want to do this and I mean, I know it's stupid, but also I have to. It's like this urge inside of me just testing it out because I know for a fact that all of those beauty influencers who do this, it's probably fake. Allegedly. I mean, I really don't want to throw them under the bus. And I mean, I don't know for sure, but in this video I feel like you can also see that she kind of like cleans up her eyebrow in between the cuts because she has like a very sharp edge up here because of the tape obviously and then in the next clip it's like very round so I feel like she cleaned it up. It's just my observation so I kind of want to try it. I actually feel like my eyebrows might be working with this technique because I do like my straight spark brows so I don't even have an arch to do. So I feel like this might actually be a trick for all the straight brow people. So I got my packing tape. <laughs> Wait actually what the fuck did I just do? Oh my god, it's not even sticking to my face because of my glowy base. <laughs> yes. I feel like this is actually how I draw my brows normally, like in this angle. You're gonna use eyeshadow for this and not a cream product, I think. So you're just gonna do this. Let's see what this eyebrow looks like. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but actually the shade is not too bad. Just don't like the back. Just need to get rid of the moisturizer. Otherwise the tape won't stick, you know. Maybe I'm just gonna start with the top one. Like not make it too spocky. <gasps> Ooh, I feel like that's good. Okay, I need to hurry before this comes off again. Okay, are you ready? <gasps> I think it could be a little longer. <laughs> Ignore this one, please ignore it. Just, you know, it's not there. Obviously, it's not like super easy getting them to look the same. And this one, I think we can just... <laughs> How am I gonna make them look similar now? I think there's a mosquito bite on my little toe. My verdict for this, if you have like super straight brows or you want to paint on super straight brows, then this might actually be a thing. If you do it some more times and you find out your way to do it, I think this could actually be a method to save time. But I still think if you have arched brows, I mean, you cannot like glue on the tape in a round form. So obviously you would have this little, you know, sharp corner right here. Then you would have to cover it out with concealer anyway. It's still a little stupid, but it's not as stupid as I thought it would be. Now that we got eyebrows, I think we can get to the next thing. So the next product we're gonna try out is the NYX Pore Filler. It is this little, well, pore stick. You're so poor. It's like a lipstick basically. And I've seen this a lot of times on TikTok, uh, people being like super impressed with how good this fills your pores. The only thing is obviously this is gonna probably make my face very matte so it's still very contradicting with the glowy base I just applied so I think I'm gonna be applying it on just one side so we can also compare like the pure glow with the very matte pore pencil. So apparently this should mattify everything in an instant. Uh-huh. It definitely mattifies a lot. But I also feel like I'm kind of ruining it with my glow underneath. It's maybe not the way to glow. Go. <laughs> oh my god, it really makes 
makes my face super matte. Look how much this shines and then you get to this part and it's like gone. Oh my god, that is so intense. And now we're just gonna apply foundation and see which side looks better. <laughs> this is my shade, okay? Oh wait, why am I still so glowy right there? Did the primer slide down? I just did like a whole day of boxing last week and it fucked my body up completely. I don't work out at the moment and I haven't worked out in a long time. So that kind of really killed me and my body is still aching. It's insane. Okay, maybe it's not quite my shade. <laughs> it's a bit too dark. Maybe I'm just gonna, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I don't see a difference in these two sides. But my makeup does look very nice though. I think it is due to the watermelon moisturizer I applied before because I don't think the pore stick could compete to it. So I think it maybe just, you know, slid down. I'm not matte but maybe my pores are a little more filled. But I could also be imagining things. What do you think? I cannot zoom you in more than this. Do you see any difference in pores or something? Oh, oh, there's a lot coming out. By the way, this concealer by Fenty is also a very hyped product. I don't know if it's like a viral hyped product, but the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener, people love it, apparently. Maybe I should have also applied my foundation with a sponge and just like dab like this. I think I did many things wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I feel like this is not a lot of coverage though. I gotta admit, my face does look very pretty <laughs> and I didn't I, and I didn't I didn't even exfoliate my face beforehand so it's pretty solid I think this is actually a really good makeup base but we'll carry on because obviously I still need to powder my face so I put some contour on and some blush but only cream products and now we're gonna get to the next product that looks oh my god I look like Pennywise <gasps> Next product. It's time for powder and I've seen this viral rice powder from Palladio. I've never heard of this brand before. I've never seen this brand before, but it looks really, really cute and people have been going crazy about this powder. I honestly don't know how a powder can be like mind blowing. What does rice powder even mean? Is this made out of rice? Okay, there's rice starch in there. Mm-hmm, okay. So this is what it looks like. Really cute and um, this is what it looks like from the inside. Doesn't want to focus. Okay. <laughs> oh! It smells like the kind of makeup you always got as a child. Like in those huge makeup boxes and like they weren't pigmented at all and like were all super shitty. But it smells exactly like that. Like, well, like your mom's makeup bag. I feel like when powder smells like this, it's good. Let's just dab in with the powder puff it came with. I think I'm gonna work it into the skin on this side and I'm gonna buff it in with a brush on this side because this is supposedly my glowy side. <laughs> that wasn't that funny. Now let me use a powder brush and just very lightly put it on this side. Not too much. <laughs> How fucking flawless does my face look? I mean, obviously, wow, my contour is cleaned up on this side. Not so much on this side. <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> I really don't know if it's the watermelon moisturizer, the NYX pore filler, or the powder, but I think it is mostly the powder. Everything I just did was right. I still feel like this side looks exactly the same as this side. I don't think there's a difference. Oh, I forgot to blend my bronzer down here. Oopsie. It smells good. It feels nice on the skin and it really, really fills in your pores. It was 11 euros. That's okay. I'm impressed. Okay, the next thing we're gonna be doing is another makeup hack. A makeup technique, which was very viral and trendy like a couple of weeks ago. So it's basically a hack for beginners. I don't know about that. This is 
is apparently a trick to get the perfect eyeshadow by just applying straight unblended lines of the eyeshadow color you want on your eye just like next to each other not blend them yet and then at the end go in with a big fluffy brush and blend it all together it apparently should be way easier than doing it the other way i don't know about that but we're gonna find it out also i've only seen it being done with like neutral brown gold eyeshadows so i'm gonna do it with some colors i got my eyeshadow palette right here so we'll start with the darkest color on the outside which i'm gonna use this very <laughs> bright red for maybe mixed with a little bit of brown just like that this one right here and now this i don't like this this is kind of triggering this is not satisfying at all now some bright yellow it looks like a flower. I mean, honestly, it's kind of a look already. Eh? And now we're just gonna blend it. Um, uh, uh, oh, this is not working. Oh my god, this is not blending somehow. Let me just try to blend it with my finger. Oh, I hate this. Maybe it would have worked with like brown shades. I hate that this trend forces me to use neutral colors. <laughs> oh my god, Germany! Woohoo! I mean, actually, Belgium. <laughs> Wait, is Belgium? I hate it. I hate it. Oh my god. I absolutely... Oh, either the people in the videos are lying hardcore or I'm literally just too stupid to do this. These colors don't want to blend like at all. Who fucking invented this trend? <sighs> I mean, yes, you can blend like the outer edges, but like not the inside. Maybe if I just use more eyeshadow and like go over it, maybe some orange to blend this. Oh my god. Let me apply some more black on this side so it kind of looks similar. I'm just trying to save my look here. Oh, that black is really pigment. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait. Who invited this gold? That was really bad. Well, I really don't like this look. Senpai. This looks like my makeup when I went partying back in high school. <laughs> anyway, I do not like this, but I think you know this by now. I'm just gonna chill and get to the next beauty product. <laughs> next, we're gonna be testing this very, very cool looking lip stain. Actually, it's called a hyper stain, which means it's very hyper hyper. Supposedly, it's also good. Like, every person trying it out loved it. Oh, they gave me a cloth. What is this for? It is a two step lip stain. Apparently, first you apply this and then you spray it with this, and this is gonna activate it or something. This smells exactly like my mom's lipstick. Oh my god. I mean, when I was smaller, I obviously always stole my mom's lipsticks to put on makeup because I didn't have makeup on my own. Uh, it really makes me feel stuff. <gasps> oh. I think you're supposed to put two coats or something. This is kind of fun. It kind of looks like some Jeffree Star lipstick. Not gonna lie, this looks really pretty on its own. Okay, I think it's time for our activator. Mm -mm -mm, it's so sticky. What the? Mm -hmm, my whole face is wet now. Wait, that was so stupid. Help! Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> wow! Okay, so this is what it looks like now. It definitely does give you something. Here, who wants this? <laughs> this is for you guys. It looks super natural. It feels very fresh on the lips. I feel like I applied some minty thing. I think it's a fun thing to just play with because it's fun to peel it and to apply it. Is it really necessary? Then if you just apply some gloss on top or something, I like this. Let me just see if it was expensive. <laughs> oh my god. $32? No, I, 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 I don't think I would spend $32 on this if it hadn't been for a video. This is a lot of money for a lip product. But I mean, if it would be like maybe like $15 um, less, then I would really recommend this to you because this looks really, really cute. But I think it's also the gloss now <laughs> and also me. <laughs> no, cute. Mm -hmm. 
but too expensive. The last step to a healthy makeup routine. Why did I add the healthy? I always forget setting spray. Is my makeup routine unhealthy now? So the last step in a typical makeup routine is usually setting spray. And I have learned on TikTok that I've been using it wrong my whole life, just spraying it on my face. Because supposedly you're supposed to <laughs> spray your beauty blender and like soak it in the setting spray and then press it into your skin which is kind of scary because I feel like it's gonna interrupt my makeup base and I also feel like you can do this if you don't powder a lot but if you got like dry powder and like dab something wet on again I don't know how I feel about this but apparently people say this is the right way to use setting spray we're gonna put it to a really good test because my face is still powder to the gods not oily at all still looking flawless very impressed with this powder I mean I've been filming for some time it's been maybe like one and a half hours since I apply this and like I'm not oily at all all. Not even on the side which I didn't bake and usually I have to bake otherwise I will be oily in no time So I got my dirty beauty blender and uh, my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray Never used it before just found this love Charlotte. So we're just gonna spray it Ooh, it smells good. I feel like this is wasteful. I don't know how much I'm supposed to spray. My whole hand is wet. Okay, and now you're supposed to just, you know, dab it into your skin. Mm. <laughs> I feel like it opened up my pores a little bit more. It's really hard to explain, but I feel like that was like not it. I mean, I, I really feel like this is a good thing to do if you have a very not powdered face but for people who bake their face i don't know i would rather just spritz it onto your face like always and this is my final result of using only tiktok products tiktok hacks i mean i'm not like super mad about it but this would also not be a look i would normally go for <laughs> the eyeshadow Ew. <laughs> it's really giving me Germany vibes. That was it for this video. I don't think I tried anything bad today except the eyeshadow technique. That was like really bad. It was even worse than the tape trick on the eyebrows. Who would have thought? What a plot twist. I fuck with this. Pardon me. <laughs> Good. The lip stain, really cute, but the price, not cute. The watermelon thing, I mean, I honestly still don't know if I will have an allergic reaction to this, but so far it's cute, but I would suggest it to you if you don't powder your face like really hard afterwards, like I did. I think this is also good if you just wanna look cute after you took your makeup off. Yeah, the NYX purple was kind of disappointing, but I also think I kind of set myself up because I used this before, so I'm very sorry. NYX Porphyla stick that I treated you this bad because you didn't even have a chance. If you have any experiences with any of the products out of this video or hacks or whatever, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your opinion about it. Did I mention that I love the rice powder? <laughs> I need to stop pulling those faces. It's so 2015. Quirky. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Why did I just do this? <laughs> I'm so silly. Silly and goofy. Always send me products you want me to try. Send me hacks you want me to try because you know I will. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on TikTok. And be Naomi John on Twitter. Oh my god, can I have one? Sure, I brought this for you too. Oh, thank you so much. No, no, finish your outro, then you can have some. You're right, sorry. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, but like, did I do a good job or not? Well, I'm gonna be honest, you were really good. Here, have a good one. <laughs> thank you. I told you I can do this easily. Okay, don't get talking now. Okay, sorry.